Hi everybody, uh, this is Thomas Chen and in today what I'd like to explain to you is our new product, the Business Central. This is my first whiteboard series and what I'd like to do today is explain a business cloud architecture. Hopefully you find the session to be useful. Okay, so with Business Central, you can get a lot of information from our marketing collaterals, but what I'd like to do today is really to put on the whiteboard what is a typical deployment when a person subscribes to Business Central. Okay, so I'm going to start drawing a little bit. So first thing you do, Business Central is a wireless cloud management solution. So for typically what people have to do is you buy an access point, and you can buy this you know, traditional channel partners, and what you do is, let's say you buy an access point you want to deploy in your home. You take that access point, okay, there you go, okay, I'm putting an AP here, you connect the access point behind any traditional gateway that you have at home. And the gateway will provide uh, IP address assignment from the access point as well as uh, DHCP capability and any type of NAT functionality. And then once you plug in the access point at home, what you have is you have a network, typical internet. And then you have traversed through a number of different routes and then eventually you get to the big happy data center. And that's where our Business Central is hosted. A lot of times you get questions asked, who's hosting your Business Central? Is it Netgear? So today in the first release it's going to be hosted at Amazon. And typically what happens when the request goes into Amazon, okay, what you have, you have a first tier of web servers. And these are used to receive requests from the access points as well as from the user. Okay, these are management users. I won't go in detail for now. But the concept of management users is that the person logs in to the uh, business central to configure different access points. Could be your home, could be your coffee shop, and different locations. So the first tier of business central is a web server tier. And the second tier we have is you have application server. And then on the back end, you have the database. And for redundancy, we host the content in multiple data center of Amazon. So you have multiple locations, fully redundant. In the case that one data center goes down, automatically the other data center will replicate the content. Similarly, if we have a lot of access points deployed in the environment, let's say hundreds of thousands of access points, then simply to scale the capability of this central, you simply automatically we add multiple web servers to handle more requests coming from the network. I'll draw in a different color later on. And if you have more requests comes in, potentially you also automatically add multiple application server in the network. Everything transparent to the user. So that's from the high level in terms of business central architecture. Now let me go through some of the typical flow how the access points gets connected. Remember, you bought an access point. First thing you do is you go to Netgear support to download the cloud enabled firmware. In the future, all access points that's sitting in the distribution and channel partner will already have this firmware deployed. But obviously, initially during the transition period, the customer should go down there and take the latest firmware that has cloud enabled functionality. And what it does, once you plug in the access point home, first thing it does, access point automatically calls what we call call home, is basically call the data center. And here, I didn't really draw here, but there's really a front-end load balancer that will handle the requests coming from both the access point as well later on I'll talk about the management user. Once the access point connects to the business central, automatically register into that environment, and the management user simply have to log in there 
and gets a nice portal and you'll have more information about that in subsequent whiteboard session. Automatically you get a user interface and you can automatically say access point with this particular serial number belongs to me and automatically you can start configuring different type of configurations. Simple as that. And that's how you get the access point configured using the Business Central Management. Thank you very much. Talk to you next time.